everyone, the message you are about to watch is a message preached by Bishop Opudeli Eze. This message is packed full. It's that it is anointed, it is fire right, it is loaded, and it has the capacity to put you on your throne of enthronement. I want to encourage you as you watch this message, watch it with faith in your heart because God will impart some great measure of anointing in your life. Yokes will be broken, chains will be destroyed, walls will crumble as you watch this message. I want you to watch it with faith in your heart and trust God that every situation in your life will turn around for good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Happy New Year. Are we making progress? Are we enjoying God's word? Wave your hand and shout glory. glory. Number three, how do I command strategic? What is the price? Number three, develop intrinsic capacity. Develop intrinsic capacity that will make you difficult to be ignored in your generation. Powerful. Develop intrinsic capacity. Somebody say intrinsic. Develop intrinsic capacity that will make you difficult to be ignored. It is not everyone that can be ignored. Ngozi Okonjiwala cannot be what? No matter what Americans did, they couldn't ignore that woman. She is, a, she is the signature of all eyes. There is a way man can sharpen his capacity and you can never be replaced. Do you want to make strategic impact? Be sharpen your capacity. Develop intrinsic capacity that when matters arise, everyone will beat a pathway to your house. When they ask, who can do this? Everybody together will say, it is him. Because you have developed intrinsic capacity over that area of core competence for a long time. Wave your hand and shout glory. glory. Can I pray a prayer for you? The next puzzle of your generation, you will be the solver. Yeah. I, 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 you can't sit down. Let me try this. People. I said, the next puzzle of your generation, you shall be the solver. Receive divine intelligence to solve puzzles of your generation. May you become the voice of answer to the cries of your generation. It's possible. You sharpen yourself. Your name becomes synonymous with impact. Because what? Hey, talk to me. Your name becomes what? With what? The way we know how important you are is when we mention your name, what comes to our mind? That is why you need to sit up. See this thing you are doing in Abuja? You need to sit up. I'm talking about strategic transgenerational what? That your name, you have worked value, you have worked value into your name. That your name has become synonymous with what? Transgenerational impact. When you hear Bishop Oku Laser, what else comes to your mind? We, we know they too. We, any other person with enthronement mandates that fake. Now me first get them from God. That's what we're talking about. You build value into your core essentials that your generation cannot pretend you're not around. Even when you're not around, nobody sits down until you appear. What do you want? I feel like prophesying. I, I'm, I'm seeing seven crowns. The Lord said, by this preaching, seven people will begin to tow towards this line. Across the seven months. I decree and I declare, Father, I release this enthronement mantle upon these seven persons. As they said, let the mantle land on their head. Let it land on your head. Let the mantle land on your head. Receive that crown. Can I hear you shout Amen. Mark chapter 5, 13 and 14. Talking about Jesus. A man of profound impact whose glory couldn't be hidden. Let's look at what the Bible says. Somebody say, I refuse to die ordinary. I can't hear you. Matthew 5. Matthew 5. 13 and 14. Somebody say, I refuse to die ordinary. Oh, I refuse. No. 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 The earth is for a place where men have paid their bills. My spurrow said that the richest place on the earth is not the America. The gold mines of Ghana. All you rich fields of Nigeria. That the richest place of the earth is the grave. And they ask you why. He said because people have gone to the grave undischarged. 
undischarged. Show me that scripture. Jesus made him part. Three and a half years later, we are yet to recover. Am I communicating here? Paul made him part. Many years later, we are yet to. Anywhere they preach Jesus, they preach Paul along. And what was his secret? And I, Paul, went up by what? He sharpened his ability. Look at that scripture. You are the salt of the earth. Are you one of us? Yes, Say, I am the salt of the earth. But the Bible said, but if the salt have lost its savour, that's what I'm talking. We are with it shall be salted. It is taste for good for but to cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. It will not be your portion. 14. You are what? Okay, let's personalize that prophecy. Say, I am, I am. the light of the world. I, I am a city set on a hill. I can never be hidden. Shout amen three times. Mark chapter 1, 37. Mark chapter 1, verse 37. Develop intrinsic capacity that will make you difficult to be ignored. Build capacity, build value, build competence that cannot make you to be ignored. There are people in the church, when they don't come to church, the pastor gets, gets what? Because the value they offer can never be easily ignored. Be that person. Paul said, bring me Mark. Because he's what? He's profitable to me to what? For ministry. Praise the Lord. Show me that scripture. And when they had found him, may your generation find you after this service. They said unto him, all men, all men seek for thee. Is it possible for a generation to seek a non-entity? Is it possible for a generation to be the pathway to the household of a non-entity? Can I prophesy to you? There's an anointing of visibility. There's an anointing of global attraction. Anywhere you manifest, your generation will sing your praise. If you say a better amen, I tell you, God will change your story. If you stand up and say a better amen, and all you is landing on your head. Number four. It looks like number three, but different, little difference. Number three. Be sharp on the cutting edge. Be sharp and on the cutting edge. You have to be sharp and you must be on the cutting edge in the area of your core competence. What it means is that you must be ready to discharge as often as you are called upon. Somebody say, I must be ready to be discharged. Somebody say, I must be ready to discharge. The question is, what do you bring to the table? What value, when people relate with you, what value can you be able to offer? Do you go to the stage of global reckoning and you are rehearsing? Or are you going there to discharge? For the endless desire of the creation is waiting for the rehearsal. Oh. It's waiting for the rehearsals. No, you didn't read the Bible. Where is this one coming from? He needs an anointing. It's waiting for the rehearsals. Madam, did you read your Bible well? No, I didn't see manifestation. I saw rehearsal. Honey, what did you what did you see there? Rehearsal. Which one? So the endless desire of the creation, they are not waiting for rehearsal of the songs. They are waiting for display of the songs. Put your hands upon your head. On the day your generation will ask you what you carry. May you manifest beyond manifestation. May you manifest beyond normal. May you wow them. May you wow them with the grace of God upon your life. I don't like the way you're saying amen. Stand up and shout a better amen. amen. Sharpen yourself. Don't come on the stage to do the hassle. I won't dwell much on this. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 10. See the way I'm talking like typewriter. Some people say in the East that I, that, I rap, that I rap message. You know when I preach, it's like I'm singing, right? Uh, that is another unction and a different. This one, I'm just, I'm just breaking it. And you think yeah, you can do that? No, I've done that for years. I have built capacity for that. Once I carry my, the thing, they flow like water. Who needs an impartation? 
<laughs> Receive it in Jesus' name. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 10. If the iron be blunt and he do not wet the edge, that's talking about sharp, intentional sharpening of yourself. Then must he put to more strength. But what is happening, wisdom is profitable to the rest. Number five, how do I, how do I, what price do I need to pay again for strategic impact? Raise a passionate winning team. Raise a passionate winning team. And for, for you to do that, you need to rally people of like minds around you. Rally people of like minds around you. Rally people of like minds around you in order to establish an effective network. Rally people of like minds around you. Rally people of like minds around you in order to establish an effective network. Now hear this. Your network determines your net worth. Write it down. Your network. That means your net worth is important. In Genesis chapter 1, God said, Now let us make man. Team work approach. Work alone, we die alone. Can you say that? Zion, say it again. Uh -uh. You are not meant to work alone. Even Jesus could not achieve divine agenda alone. He had a team. Now the acronym T E A M represents together everyone achieve more. Can we say that? Everyone achieve more. The word team, the acronym T E A M means T means what? E means what? Uh, A means what? Then M means what? More. Together everyone achieves more. Now hear this. A team of sheep led by lion will conquer territories more than a team of lion led by a sheep. Write it down. A team of sheep led by a lion will conquer territories more than a team of lion led by so team is everything. Most people must intentionally rally people around. Cause people to buy into your vision. There is something we call in the leadership palange the law of buy-in. Intentionally market and convert your vision and, and communicate and market your vision so that people can buy in. Help me tell somebody, buy in. Say it again, say buy in. Somebody shout internalization. Does it sound as if you are in one Harvard University? Say internalization. I know it's reminding you somewhere you're coming from. Praise the Lord. So you need to intentionally market. Do you know Elon Musk is right now marketing the vision of building, not discovering an, uh, uh, a space. He wants to build houses where? On Mars. He's not rallying. People are investing. He start creating within the emotions of men the possibility of women be living where? In mass. What a crazy, crazy. Do you know another worthy man is looking for the vaccine for the elongation of life or death cancellation? They say that, that death was not in existence. That man was created to live. And the, the way they're pumping money into that research, I believe they might stumble into an ancient civilization. That can even help man. Maybe we won't be dying less than 100. Maybe it can be extended to 1,000 or 500. I am telling you the truth. Currently now. Put your hands upon your head. Are you enjoying today's service? Yes, am I challenging you? Yes, I therefore prophesy on you. This generation is counting on you. Your manifestation will be the answer to their dilemma. You say amen. The anointing will rest upon your life. Amen. Sit down. Most people are cantekeros. Most people don't know the secret of working as a team. You see this thing. If you are somebody that always make my own opinion, 
my own opinion. You can't be a team worker. My mind. My, sir, ma, in a teamwork approach, your mind is not needed. When you see a man say, I, I, he's a manager. When a man say, us, us, he's a leader. Or we, we, he's a leader. God said, that, let us. He didn't say, let me. Even the us doesn't mean plurality of divinity. You see the same God calling on himself. My own mind. If I have to say my own mind. No. Teamwork doesn't talk that way. What defines the blueprint of team is the vision. The vision check the essences and give you the essence of boundaries of relationship. When it is established statutorily as part of the functional operation of that system, you subscribe and go ahead and hack into it. That is working one as a team. Paul said, let everything done decently in. So that is why if I enter my house, it's my house. I enter Abuja, it's my house. Most of you that will be going to Canada, I enter Canada church, it's my how many of you are flying to Canada? Zion Heritage International Canada. See them. <laughs> and you have not gone for foundation school. You've not gone for EBI. How will you start a church? You don't know. So, sir, I hear you. What are you saying? Oh, you are going to Sudan. Ah, mm, Vanessa. Do we have anointing for Sudan? Is that? They don't go to sell. They don't want to plant a church. How does it work? You do not know when you go to sell and master it. That's the same way sell starts is how a church starts in a foreign nation. So when we tell you to go to sell, we know we, we are futuristic. We, we, are, we are, how will I put it now? We, we are trying to look into what? The future. We are driven by the future. Someone shout amen. Where are you going to shout glory? Lift up and say, Father, give me the grace to be a team worker. Say, Father, I received anointing to have a functional team. If you're a leader, don't intimidate members of your team. Pally them. Pally them. Pally them. Make sure that the totality and the blueprint of the vision becomes the core essence that binds everyone together. Can I hear you say amen? Put your hands upon your head. You know what? We are, we are, we are raising champions across the seven mountains. Are you one of them? Your mountain will hear your impact. I said, Your mountain will hear your impact. Number six, and I begin to pray. And the Lord said, The Lord said at the end of this service, pray a prayer of mantle. Pray a prayer of what? As I begin to release, I've been in God's presence. Look at me. Count from nothing. You see this message? You will refer back to your change. Because when we, the kind of product we want to release to the seven mountains is that you are spiritual and you are wealthy. You didn't hear what I said. You are what? And what? Say it again. And you are what? Nothing missing, nothing broken. That's the kind of people we're raising. When it comes to boardroom, you show them a level of dexterity. You speak the grammar, they know that this one, this one, like follow come. And when it comes to spirituality, you say there is somebody here. Your name is Agnes. You came from Utru. Your mother is happiness. The Lord is telling me you are the one that stole the money we are looking for. <laughs> By the time they know you are complete, will they try you? That's the man going to the mountain. Clap your hands. So they are spiritual and they are what? Wealthy. They don't only speak in tongues, but they speak in cash. Not illiterate. No, we are not using illiterate there. We are going to contend with the best of the world. If we carry the wisdom of God, why shouldn't we establish dominion on the earth? If I'm blessing somebody, wave your hand and say hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, in time to come, we're going to begin to have the Jeff Bezos here. Yes, Elon Musk here. Yes, am I talking to some his younger generations here? Yes, Lift up your hand and shout, I am going to Mount Ituru. It's important. That's what we do in church here. Our church is a different church. Oh, even though I'm, I'm not a prophet, I prophesy. But this is the core energy of my calling. To raise men that will go to the seven mountains, the rule and reign for Christ, 
across the seven mountains. I want you to be a capital voice for, for God and his kingdom, establishing the kingdom culture across those realms of operation. If you're one of them that I've sent, wave your hand and shout, I hear you. Yes, one more, we pray. Is that okay? Yes, Take a decision to overcome the frustrations of the ninth season. Child, most people don't like this song when we talk about impact. No matter how we speak about impact, ninth season will be part of the package. Even Jesus passed through the price ninth season. Did you read the scripture where Jesus said, my father, my father, why have you? You know, from creation, God has never abandoned Jesus. The only time God abandoned Jesus was where? Was where? Jesus died a spiritual death. He died what? And he died a spiritual death because of the the, 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 the sin of, 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 of man. You know, spiritual death is disconnection from the fatherhood spirit. The same death that Adam died. So he didn't only die physically, he died what? Spiritually. So that time there was the disconnection between his spirit and God's spirit. He said, my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? I wonder what God will be doing that time. Ninth season. Can I talk to you a little bit about ninth season? Should I? Ninth season is when you have content and value, but you like right audience and platform. Ninth season. When you have content, you have value, but you lack audience and you lack platform. You have content. Honey, you understand what I'm talking about? We've been there. You have content. You have value, but you lack what? The right audience and right platform. B, what is ninth season? It's when you are loaded, but you are dwelling in Lodeba. You are loaded, but you are living in Lodeba. The word Lodeba is a Hebrew word for a land of cut off, a land of dryness, a land of forsaken, a forsaken land. You are loaded with what the generation wants, but you are abandoned in Lodeba. Everyone here abandoned in Lodeba. As you say amen, you are coming out of it. I say you are coming out of it. I say you are coming out of it. What is ninth season? See, your current, your ninth season is when your current result is not commensurable to the achievement on ground. Or to the energy expended. Your current result is not commensurable to the energy. You bought your energy, your expertise, your everything. But when you look around, what you have on ground does not do justice to the level of energy, finances, and all that was dispensed. What is ninth season? Right. I saw something not writing. What is ninth season? It is when the people you are sent to, this one is very key. I wept when I, I was writing this one. It is when the people you are sent to, it is when the people you are sent to seem to be too blind to see and appreciate the gift of grace among them. Chai. When the Holy Spirit told me this, I cried. I knew this was like me. It is when the people you are sent to seem to be too blind to see and appreciate the gift of grace among them. Honey, have you been there? People don't know when those who are called to be delivered does not like their deliverer. God packages human grace, releases them among people, and the people the man is sent to they don't see, they don't appreciate, they don't honor. They trivialize the hand of God upon that person. That's ninth season for the man. Number five. What is ninth season? God made you a voice, but you, your generation cares not to know or listen to you. God made you a voice, but your generation cares not to know. Psalm 30 verse 5. Psalm 30 verse 5. God made you a voice, but your generation cares not to know or to listen to you. For his anger endured but a moment. 
In his favor is life. That is when God gives you favor. His favor gives you life. Say amen to that. Now look at the words that I'm looking for. Weeping may endure for a night. That's the night season. But joy comes in the morning. Now what is the cure to night season? Two things. Faith and patience. Some say faith and patience. What can, how can I cure my night season? Some say faith and patience. For Hebrews 6 verse 12. Hebrews 6 verse 12. How do I cure, cure night season? Hebrews 6 and verse 12. Child, I love Jesus. Is there anyone that loves Jesus here? Wave your hand and say, Jesus, I love you. He said, that you be not what? Slothful. But what? Followers of them. Who through? So the cure to nicest is what? I can't hear. The cure to nicest is what? Faith and patience inherit the promise. Let's rise to our feet. I believe you've been blessed by that word of enthronement that came your way. Suddenly in my heart, I believe that your life will never be the same again. In case you're out there, you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Quickly, I would like you to chant this prayer. Say, dear Lord Jesus, dear Lord Jesus, I come to you. I come to you, a sinner. A sinner. I confess. I confess. From today, from today, I receive you. I receive into you into my life. Into my life. As my Lord. As my Lord. My personal Savior. My personal Savior. Never to sin again. Never to sin again. Congratulations. Amen. You are now sanctified, blood bought, and anointed for exploit. Amen. I want to speak specially to those who listen to the word of God. I declare by the mercies of God. Yes. That every yoke of limitation in your life is broken. Amen. I speak that the land where you are will not deny you your treasures. Amen. I declare when it is your time to be blessed, it will not be negotiated. Amen. I decree by the mystery of the word of God, yes. may you have access to divine inheritance. Amen. I declare healing to your body. Amen. I declare fruitfulness to everybody's situation. Amen. Receive grace for financial empowerment. Amen. Go and excel. Amen. Subdue the land. Amen. Manifest dominion. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you for watching the message of enthronement. Yes. And I believe that miracles are already happening in your life right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to follow us on Facebook and on other social platforms. You can see the links scrolling on your screen right now. Yes. And the headquarters of the church is located at Zion Heritage and Miracle Ministries of Voice of Nigeria Way, Lugwe Airport Road, Abuja. And we have so many other branches, the branches and their addresses will also be scrolling on your screens right now. So stay connected with us and remain lifted.